I know you young players, you're all about the cleats, you love seeing the newest shoe. Personally, I'm more about function and purpose. I'm more about being effective on the field. I don't really care about the shoes that you wear. Obviously, they need to be comfortable. If you feel good, you're gonna play good. But as far as knowing all the newest trends and models, I'm lost. But I went and visited my buddy Matty. He owns a soccer store. He's owned a store for 10 years. And we just talked about shoes. So if you're curious, you wanna learn more, Check out the conversation we had. If you liked the video, please like, share, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. These bad boys? Yeah. Show my top flex. So like an actual futsal shoe uh, designed with a toe pump in mind kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, full grain yeah. shoe. Joma is a futsal brand out of Spain. Okay. Wider finish. Wider and it's got the the strong toe. Yeah. Get those toe hacks. Get those toe punts going. Yeah, it's honestly it's a different skill. Cause now that I play way more futsal, it's like I have to learn how to toe hack, and I've, my whole life I've been teaching myself not, not to toe that, hack, yeah. just to use the laces. I know. <clears throat> but those are pretty cool, and it's like the um, cause you're playing on the court. This is thicker too, eh? Yeah. The sole? Yeah. Gum sole bottom. Gum sole? Yeah. What does that mean? Or what is it's it? Like just a rubber and non-marking. Rubber? Yeah. yeah usually non-marking. As opposed to this indoor? Okay. Very simple. Yeah. So yeah, what's up? Oh, these are, what are these? Those are Adidas Nemesis. Nemesis. Okay. I thought these were um, these, which are, what are these? That's what Nike react. So this is the new fad. This is the new uh, generation, you think? Little We're little getting little away from laces or what? New lead piece from Nike. So is there laces in here? Yeah, there's laces in Inside? In there. So it's called ghost lacing. Okay. <clears throat> ghost lacing. Cool. But are there some with actually no laces? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah. Not Adidas, yet? Adidas did it. But it wasn't successful or? No, it's very successful. Okay. Adidas pure. Okay. Pure These are the same up here? Just. Same thing, different colorway. It's pretty cool. I mean, even with, because way back in the day, it was like these Copas, right? And these ones aren't so bad, but some of them, like the this thing here and the laces would be so bulky. Like if you struck a ball on here, like hurt your foot. You know what I mean? It's a heavy and, shoe, but yeah. it's super bulky. But now to like strike a ball off that clean, probably feels a lot better, I would imagine. What are you wearing right now? Well, I'm wearing Nike. Rocks Which I am wearing it too, I believe. <laughs> Not Mercurials, right? Um, you don't have yeah, any. Mercurial Proximals, yeah. Oh, okay, it's the same thing in Mercurial yeah. Proximal? But you don't have any Proximals up anymore. They're all sold out. Proximal 2s are, yeah. I wear the Proximal 1s. It's slightly softer shoes. Okay. So I might have to come and get some of these. What do you think? Check it out for the toe punt. I am. Yeah, I'm curious about it. It would make a difference. Get some of these for Carlos for his Carlos birthday. Carlos has it down pat, right? He doesn't have these shoes though. No, I know. But no, but he has the toe pot. He has the toe pot down. Yeah. But I, we were playing last night and I told him before the game, I was like, dude, I'm scoring a toe hack tonight. And then I uh, I like hit a pretty good one and the goalkeeper got down and made a good save. But you just never think to use your toe, you know? Yeah, but the release is so quick on it. What are these? Mm. So what's selling the best right now? Um, the CR7 version of the Superfly Academy. Yeah, I see a lot of kids with these. A lot of kids loving these. And I'm assuming these. Yeah. Just because they look cool. These look like basketball shoes almost though, with the high top angle. And yeah, what do you call this? Um, what do you call this? Dynamic fit. Dynamic fit. Locks you into a shoe. Locks you, like I, I wear it and I like it, but I don't really know. Is it supposed to support your ankle? Is it just for show? What's up? I don't think it gives you a massive amount of ankle support, no. but I personally have rolled my ankle since I started wearing this ring. But I know you did. <laughs> yeah, but not off the shoe, more Tackle. getting tackled, yeah, or contact. Cool. These are all the kids. Yeah. These foots all here? No, it was an just old an old umbro. 
and some turf shoes as well. Uh-huh. All the turf in there. <clears throat> but are players using these on indoor pitches? Yeah. Like uh, so they can use it soccer on center turf? Soccer center carpet turf. Or carpet also turf? Or artificial grass when it's dry. Not when it's wet. Not so much when it's wet, no. Do you play with turf at all? Uh, only when I'm at, uh, like, foothills. Oh yeah, you use yeah. turf there? Some of those artificial grasses you shouldn't really be in an aggressive grade. Uh huh. Because there's a risk for knee injuries. How does that work? Do you know? The science behind it? I'm just like cutting into it. And, and the ground doesn't like have give and release? Oh yeah. This is hard. Uh, yeah, the aggressiveness of pivoting. So you don't want to be wearing the, grass. Oh, these are nice shoes. What yeah. are these? Those are those were mine actually, <laughs> but they don't fit correctly. I didn't like how. So they changed. They changed these. They changed the. They changed the way they make them. So this is the new version. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't suit my foot. What's the brand or what's huh. the uh, model? That's the Nike Superfly Elite 360. Superfly. So you don't want to be wearing these on artificial turf. Mm -hmm. This is just wet grass. You're yep. like soft yep. grass. Firm ground, soft ground. Okay. Soft ground would be a metal stud. But we don't even sell those. I haven't seen those in Alberta in a long time. They don't even offer. You have to get that off the internet. Yeah. Just because we have too hard of ground, eh? Yeah. So it's an indoor season right now. You don't have the new shoes in for outdoors. Not till February. These are all the older models. Yeah. This is the same Superfly. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, just takedown model. So. so what does takedown mean? So you have, um, since you have entry level is club, then next step up is academy, then pro, then elite. So That's just for Nike? Just for Nike, yeah. And Adidas does it differently, so they'll do a 18.3 and 18.2 and an 18.1.1 yeah. pure plus being the highest. But that, so it could be the exact same shoe, but it, it club, looks, academy. Yeah, it looks the same, but it's significantly different materials, different sole plates. Okay. So what did you say? What are the levels? What's the first? Uh, the first level is club. Club. Which is entry level. And then academy. Academy. Intermediate. Then pro. Pro. And then elite, which is the highest. And elite. But you said takedown. Where's takedown? So so elite is the highest. Yeah. And then the pro is a takedown of the elite. Okay. The academy is a takedown of the pro. And the club is a takedown oh, of okay. the academy. Okay. So anything below elite is a takedown. Essentially. Within Nike and How are these Jomas? This is it Joma? This is Joma again. Yeah. Yeah. The leather's nice on these though. Yeah, it's four front leather synthetic but upper. It's definitely an old school kind of boot. Old school looking and again, usually a wide fitting brand. Uh-huh. Wide so yeah, let's talk about wide foot, narrow foot. Nike's usually narrow. Adidas is wider. Yeah. Adidas Nike's quite narrow. In general, they do have um, the, new, the new Vision is probably one of the wider models, and the tempo stretch quite a bit. Where is that? Not, that that's oh, okay. And I did used to rock these back in the day. I think we all did. Puma King. Yeah. They still sell this one. Yep. Puma. Where is it? Oh, these are Puma as well. These are kind of nice. Yeah. But I don't know about this. What do you think? Um. Looking at. Synthetic. Improve your touch or make that ball stick? It's more made, the outside part is called net fit. So it's made so you can lace it in a variety of ways to suit your foot. This is net fit, yeah. this stuff here. Yeah, so you can change where you lace it. So if you have a wider Oh, foot, you have okay, I see. So I can take my laces out here if I want. Put them like out here, right? Exactly. Eh? Oh, cool. Or very narrow. Yeah. If I had a narrower foot. No, wider. Or, so okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, I've never seen that before. Does anyone else do that? That's only Puma. No. Yeah. Puma Future? Netfit. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Hyper Venoms. Still kicking around? Just a little bit. Almost done. What are these? These are for the ladies or these are men's boots? This is a men's boot. The Nemesis again. For the feminine men. This is actually a nice shoe though. Pastel colorway. Pastel? Pastel arrow green. 
It's that arrow green. That's what you call that. It's actually a really nice shoe. What do you think? This is a takedown. That particular model is a takedown from the higher end version that maybe uh, mm -hmm. like Pog was wearing the pastel pink. Okay. Better. Yeah. So yeah, they did about three boots in pastel colorway. So. Only Pogba. So these are what I'm wearing. We're both wearing indoor versions of these, yeah. And it's just so light. This has got to be one of the lightest boots on the market. Yeah. In your shop, at least. Do you know the grams on that? Or? Uh, this is like fed. My head, this is way lighter than my indoors. Yeah. Maybe just the base of the shoe is heavier than the indoors. The indoors yeah. yeah. It's a uh -huh. What do you think about light boots? You like light? Yeah, feel a little quicker for sure. These are nice. The leather, leather is just. I miss that leather a bit, but it seems like they're all getting away from leather. Um, well, Nike still does the tiempo, always in leather. So in the tall, uh -huh. metal, in the tall metal. This tall is metal. a tiempo legacy. Yeah, that's an older shoe. Okay. This one's a more current one. Uh -huh. So a kangaroo leather. Okay. Coated with ACC, which is all condition control from Nike, uh -huh. which means you can touch the ball better in, in the wet and dry, etc. etc. That's what do they they call it? Control? Like all the, condition control. Yeah, that's ACC. the type of leather? It, all condition so control? So the leather is coated with something. Oh, coated okay. with something, yeah. And then so on the inside of the shoe also. Coated with a material or a spray? Or spray. Or, yeah. Then on the inside, they have a, a heel lock locking system. So padded. Okay. Locks you into the shoe. Oh. And then a fancy, <laughs> fancy sole plate, hyper stability sole so they plate. They can see your heels when yeah. you're sprinting past. Blind them. Yeah, this does wear off eventually. Yeah, yeah. That's a top. That's a cool. The ladies, the kids. Sweet. <laughs> 